Hello, my name is Little Miss Ann. I'm here in Chicago. I'm a family kids musician. Let's close that door. And I'm a former teacher. I have several albums for kids and families. I'm first generation Filipino American. And thank you so much for having me for math plus music equals fun. My friend Cheryl, who's a Montessori math specialist, is going to join us. And she's got a little friend who's going to join us as well. Who could it be? I'm so excited. Are you ready? Yeah! Yeah! Patterns are all around us. Patterns can be things that repeat themselves. They could be colors, they could be shapes, they could be numbers or letters or beats in a song. Let's go around Little Miss Han's house and find as many patterns as we can. I have a friend that will go and help us find patterns in Little Miss Ann's house. I'm ready! Let's go look for patterns all around Little Miss Ann's house. I spy patterns on Little Miss Ann's carpet. So cool! Those are cool! I spy patterns in Little Miss Ann's kitchen. Look at this towel with repeating bananas. It's bananas! <laughs> Hey Phyllis, let's make some patterns. We have red, and then we have orange. Yep. Then what's next, Phyllis? Ah, <laughs> Phyllis, you're such a jokester. <laughs> no, really, what is it? Yellow, kind of like your, the color of your, your fur, <laughs> your feathers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what's next, Phyllis? You're doing great. And then? Last but not least is green, my favorite You color. got it, fellas. Good job, fellas. You're probably wondering why am I standing in front of all these mountains? Well, I'm going to show you a song, a video of me singing the song, I Love the Mountains. And the reason I'm showing you this song is because this song has so many great patterns in music. Let's roll it. I'm gonna teach you a song called I Love the Mountains. And all you have to do is this, when I say boom piano. Ready? Here we go. My name is Ube. 
lyrics are the words that are saying in a song. Verses and choruses are very different. A verse usually has lots of different words and then a chorus has mostly the same words with the same melody. La la la. And the chorus for this song is boom di ada 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 so there's a pattern verse chorus verse chorus verse chorus I love the mountains has a 4/4 four, four time signature which means it has 4 beats for every measure 1 2 3 The mountains, I love the rolling hills, I love the flowers, I love the daffodils, I love the fires that when the lights are low, boom di ada, boom di ada, boom di ada, boom di ada, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This song also has patterns in the chords. And I'm here to tell you what a chord is. A chord is three or more notes that make a sound. It's the stuff that little Miss Anne is doing with her hand when she presses down on the strings of the guitar and makes a beautiful sound. A chord. Yes. So I have this cape on here, but the chords are repeated over and over and over. So now, when you watch this video, watch for the patterns. Watch how I repeat the chord. waiting on this beautiful day for my friend Cheryl. She knows a lot about math. Oh wait, I think I see her coming now. Hey Cheryl. Hey little Miss Ann. Hi. It's great to be here with you today to talk about something I love very much. Math. Math is all around us. Math is patterns. And today, I know you are going to be showing kids how music and math are related to each other. And you're going to be talking about different ways to count. You don't have to just count one, two, three. You can count two, four, six. You can count 100, 200, 300. The possibilities are limitless. It's a gorgeous day here in Chicago, and I think I'm gonna have a picnic. What's in my lunchbox today? Oh, there it is. Well, we've got a banana oh, that's ready to eat, an apple, and some biscuits. Oh, and my friend, kitty cat. All right. You know what? I feel inspired to do a song. Let's do a song about the ladybug picnic.
They jumped rope with the rope it broke So they just sat around playing knock-knock jokes Ladybug played and the ladybug's picnic They had 12 sacks in the sacks of the races And they fell on their backs and they fell on their faces You know what I mean The ladybug picnic, oh my goodness Should I try that again? Sometimes in life you make little mistakes And you know what? You can always try again and do it better Here we go, ready? They had 12 sacks and they ran sack races And they fell on their backs and they fell on their faces the Ladybugs played and the ladybugs think they could recovery Yeah! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 And the ladybugs played and the ladybugs picked me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 And the ladybugs played and the ladybugs picked Hey, Cheryl. Hey, little Miss Ann. I was thinking about something. What were you thinking? Well, I was thinking two, <gasps> four, six, eight. Who oh, do you appreciate? Phyllis. Phyllis. Yay, Phyllis. Who do I see? I see Phyllis right now. Funny. Aww. We were just talking about her. Hey, Phyllis. I'm gonna go practice my skip counting. I'll okay, see you later. Bye. Phyllis? Hi, little Miss Ann. I heard my name. We were just singing two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? You were. What is that? Well, we were doing counting patterns, but this time we were doing skip counting patterns. And you know how we sang that uh, ladybug song where we were counting one, two, three, four, five? This time we were doing skip counting where we, we're counting by twos. Counting by twos? That sounds fun. Yeah, and you know what? I have a song, and it's called Twos Today. Do you want to hear it? I do. Okay, I'll play it for you, Phyllis. Thank you. Want to hear a joke? I do. I'm always up for a joke. Are, Are you? Right? Why was six afraid of seven? Mm, why? Because seven ain't nine. Ah. Ah. <laughs> hey, guess what else? What? I bet I could count to a hundred faster than you. No way. I don't believe it. Okay, Are you go ahead. ready? All right. 
One, two, skip one, a few. Ninety-nine, one hundred. Wait, say that again. One, two, skip a few. Ninety-nine, one hundred. Hold on, you skipped a whole bunch of numbers. I did. That's not really. You skipped back. the sixties, the seventies, the eighties. I did, but there really is a way you can count faster. How? You could count by fives. 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 That way you can count like minutes and nickels and things you can count faster. Anything faster? Can you give me an example? I think you have a song about counting by I fives. Do. Should I show them the video, the fun video? You should show them the very fun video you have. It's really cute, fun. I think they'll love it. Okay, roll it. Good morning, 106. Good morning. How are y'all doing today? called Counting by Fives. Many of you might know how to count by fives, but some of you guys are still learning. If you know how to count by fives, join along, and we're going to start right now. Here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Everyone, that's counting by Can we just do the girls? Let's have the girls do it. Ready? Are you girls? You ready? I'll tell you when to start, and here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Thank you so much. That was a very nice job. Now everyone, let's all sing it. Are you ready? Here we go. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. learned so much. We already learned so much about patterns and math and music and it was so nice that my friend Cheryl came by and we got to count by ones and we count by twos and we count by fives. We heard some jokes, we <laughs> sang some songs and now it's time to say goodbye but before I say goodbye I want to say thank you again to my friend Cheryl but I also want to say thank you to thank Arts you. Alive. Alvin Sherman Library. Thank you. We had so much fun. Did you have fun? I sure did. Well, I hope that you're going to keep counting and finding patterns all around you, everywhere you go. So, see you later. Have fun. Bye. Thank you.